For 16 years, a Croatian village was terrorized by the first person on historical record to be described as a vampire. I'm Paul, and again, on behalf of Graveyard Shift, this is the story of the first real-life vampire. Your Grando died in 1656 in the small village of Kringa in Istria, which is modern-day Croatia. Legend has it that for the 16 years following his death, once the sun went down, he would rise from his grave and knock on the villagers' doors. And someone from those houses would die within the next few days. He would then visit his widow and, according to the legend, would rape her. She described his corpse as though he were smiling and gasping for breath at the same time. Now, the priest, Giorgio, who had buried him 16 years earlier, searched the streets looking for Grando, who the villagers called a Strigoi, which meant warlock or vampire. Now, he eventually found him. Giorgio held out his cross at arm's length, and in the name of Jesus Christ, banished him. Grando fled, but he was not deterred. Some of the villagers took courage. Miho Raditic confronted Grando with a hawthorn stick, deadly to demons in Croatian folklore to drive into his heart, but it only bounced off his chest. The next night, nine of the villagers went to the graveyard and dug up his coffin. What they found was a perfectly preserved corpse with a smile on its face. Again, they tried to pierce his heart with a hawthorn stick, but it wouldn't penetrate the skin. The priest attempted an exorcism while another villager, Stepan Malizic, sawed off the corpse's head. Blood ruptured from the crevice and the vampire screamed. It is then said that peace was restored to the village. I'm Paul on behalf of Graveyard Shift, and this has been a story of the first real instance of a vampire documented in recorded history.